Okay, this is Matt Cutts coming to you live from the Matt Plex. It's Monday, July 31st, and uh, I'm wearing a different shirt, so you know it's not all in one big take. In fact, it's my werewolf versus unicorn short shirt. That's right, we've got the unicorn and the werewolves. Mortal enemies since the beginning of time, and it's on now. Alright, so this had better be a special session. Let's take a fun question from G1SMD. Uh, they ask, for all the data center watchers out there, should all the results across one class C IP address block be the same most of the time, except when you're pushing data, or are they supposed to be different because you're trying different things on them? And would it make more sense to use the direct IP addresses when reporting issues or problems or the 41 GFE data center names? All right, well, let's talk about data centers. Back in the days of the dinosaurs, you know, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, you could actually run a search engine off of one computer. And those days are long since gone unless you have a really, really powerful computer or something very, very small to search over. Uh, or you have a Google search appliance, I guess. Um, so these days you pretty much have to have a data center. And in the early days of a data center, you could just do, you know, some sort of round robin trick with DNS so that you would always hit different data centers. Uh, Google does some very smart stuff with load balancing, some very uh, interesting techniques to try to make sure that different data centers are able to perform well. So your basic question was this. <clears throat> should all things on the same class CIP block be roughly the same? And yes, they should be roughly the same in that they're typically the same data center but not always. So let me give you a couple examples. Uh, if one data center has to fail over, or if one data center is out of the rotation, then even if you're going to one IP address, you can get bounced over to a different data center. And even though if you look like you're consistently hitting the same data center, behind the scenes, underneath Google's load balancing, you could be hitting a different data center uh, completely. So uh, those situations are, are somewhat rare, but not that rare. So that's sometimes when you see people having uh, debates online on Webmaster World, data center watches, stuff like that, they can actually be seeing different things even if they hit the same IP address. Um, the other point I wanted to make, and I made this at uh, Bubcon, uh, PubCon Boston, PubCon Boston, was that um, the data centers often have a lot of different things. So whenever there's a new algorithm update or some other feature that we're trying out, we'll often try it on one data center first to make sure the quality is what we expect it to be based on evaluation, stuff like that. So uh, the data centers do differ, you know, uh, according to some very complex, intricate plans so that we can try out different things at different data centers. Typically, on one class CIP address, you'll usually hit the same data center, but that's not guaranteed. Um, also at PubCon Boston, I showed a list of an example of the sorts of things that are going on at different data centers. And it, it sort of shows how things are a lot more intricate now than they used to be. And so Google does a lot more smarter scheduling, and it's a lot harder for a random person to just look at a data center and reverse engineer or to try to guess, you know, which way things are going, stuff like that. Uh, as far as which uh, IP address versus the GFE name, which I think exactly me and G1 SMD know about, uh, nobody else has really bothered to talk about it that much except maybe on Webmaster World. Uh, you can use either IP address or you know the two letter code of a, of a data center because we're able to map them both back. So if you tell us one, we can tell what the other one is either way. Uh, in general though, there are probably better ways to spend your time than watching data centers. I think it's a good use of your time to work on your content, a good use of your time whenever there's something major going on, if you really want to look whenever there's a page rank update or something going on. But in general, there's enough stuff going on at different data centers that I would say it's probably not worth checking every single data center every single day, trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do or how have I been doing? It's probably better just to spend a little more attention, paying attention, a little more time, paying attention to your logs and, and work backwards based off of that. 